Hey folks, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com. Today I'm going to cover the topic of whether uh, bodybuilding is healthy or not. Is, is bodybuilding a healthy pursuit? Uh, I think there is often some confusion, especially among those maybe not in the weightlifting bodybuilding community as to what's healthy and what's not healthy about it. And uh, I'm going to try and clear that up. now. I think you, what you have to differentiate between is the bodybuilding lifestyle from competitive bodybuilding, high-level competitive bodybuilding. And the fact is that high-level competitive bodybuilding is not particularly healthy. Uh, various professional bodybuilders that I have known have told me that they've never felt uh, more miserable, more horrible, and more close to death than uh, Showtime. And that might come as a surprise to some people because they, you know, think of often think of bodybuilding as supposed to be the uh, epitome of of the healthy or the healthy lifestyle, and uh, it's nonsense. But here's the rub, or, or here's the issue: competitive sports, in general, is not about health. Uh, competitive runners, competitive gymnasts, com obviously football players. If you were to ask a pro football player whether he was in pro football for his health, he'd probably hit you over the head with his helmet. Um, Various pro sports are not about health, nor are they healthy pursuits per se. They are about winning. And people need to realize that because we have put an unrealistic expectation or an unrealistic uh, viewpoint over competitive athletes as these uh, paragons of health, and they're not. They usually suffer from, uh, like I say, a lot of injuries, overuse uh, syndromes, uh, immune suppression, sometimes eating disorders are not uncommon, and of course we're not even discussing the elephant in the room which is drugs and that's really another uh, topic so competitive bodybuilding that is of course uh, dieting uh, extreme amounts often of overtraining uh, trying to carry extremely low body fat carry muscle mass so on and so on is not particularly healthy but again you have to put it in the context of any competitive sport where the focus is not health it is winning so in that context it's not unlike a lot of other sports so if we take that out of there and look at the bodybuilding lifestyle, which is obviously uh, lifting weights, trying to keep your body fat in check, uh, following a healthy diet, it's very healthy. There's very little you can do that is healthier in the form of a lifestyle than the bodybuilding lifestyle. Now, obviously, to anything taken to its extreme, uh, or you know, is is going to be have risk involved, risk of injury, or risk of whatever. But again, that's for everybody's personal choice to make. The bottom line is, uh, you're not going to get out of this life alive. Uh, life is 100% fatal in 100% of the people, and so you got to do what makes you happy. And so when someone says, well, I wouldn't do that, it's, it's dangerous, uh, whatever, you know, that's up to the person. It's a risk to benefit. Uh, when you go for a max squat, you know, you could slip and die, I suppose. But at the same time, you have a personal accomplishment, you've gotten stronger, you come back uh, for another day, and now there's a helicopter going over the top of my house, which is going to make for a noisy video, but I'm not doing it twice. So I hope this at least sort of clarifies um, the differences between competitive bodybuilding and health, the bodybuilding lifestyle and health, and the fact that you really need to keep all this in the context of competitive sports in general, many of which are not healthy. And I hope that helps, and I hope to see you all at the Brink Zone, and please hit the like and the Twitter. And don't mind the helicopter. I hope you can hear me, and I'll see you all on the Brink Zone. Now, for more information on this topic, head on over to www.brinkzone.com, where you'll find my blog, more videos for reports on fat loss, muscle building supplementation, fitness health, and longevity, as well as a ton of articles in my free weekly fitness newsletter. And I'll see you all on the Brink Zone.